Hi, today's video going to be short because questions are very easy and I recommend you to stop video here, uh, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer and then you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is the first question. In karyotype analysis, individual chromosomes may be distinguished from the others by, and here is uh, uh, five answers. Answer A, comparison of the chromosome lens. Answer B, bands produced on the chromosomes by staining. Answer C, uh, the position of the centromeres. And D, all the above. And E, none of the above. And the correct answer here would be D, all the above traits would be uh, compared when you want to distinguish one chromosome from another one. So this is would be uh, length of the chromosome and uh, you know that uh, human karyotype consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes that is dis distinguished by the length from the longest to shortest that is uh, Y chromosome and uh, bands also band uh, pattern produced would be unique for each pair of chromosome and of course position of centromere that can be uh, in the middle or closer to one of the ends uh, producing for example if it is a chromosome and if a centromere would be here so uh, one arm would be short and one long and we call uh, short arm um, P arm and uh, that one that is long, Q arm. And P here stands for petite, so small. And uh, second question, in a pedigree chart, a female who does not show a specific trait being studied would be indicated by, um, and here is a, once again five answers that you may choose from. And uh, let's start from the A. Darknet square, so square is uh, how we uh, designate male and uh, if we fill it that means that uh, this male would be affected with some genetic disorder or uh, it shows uh, presence of some trait. And um, answer E, darknet circle would also mean uh, female uh, that going to be uh, affected. And darknet diamond, for example, if such a couple would have a child of the uh, unspecified gender, so we won't use uh, square or circle. In this case, if we don't know the gender of the child, we use diamond. And diamond that is uh, filled also uh, would mean that the child would be affected with some genetic disorder or with some trait. And clear circle means that uh, this particular female doesn't show um, this trait or genetic disorder. And um, clear square means that uh, this is male that doesn't show uh, genetic disorder or trait. So uh, our question female that doesn't show trait so uh, this is going to be answer B so clear circle would be our answer this is all for today thank you for your attention goodbye